Hey animators, Sharp here. Bruh. Hey animators, Sharp here, and today I'm back with a tutorial, which I haven't done in a while, and I know that. I got college finals, okay, it's been a bit slow, but I'm slowly working on things, okay? So, today you guys requested an Elytra flight tutorial, and I've already set up myself an Elytra course, which I found on Planet Minecraft. I'm not gonna do the whole thing, obviously, I'm just gonna animate him. One thing worth knowing before I start, I've parented the elytra onto his body. If he bends his body, the elytra is going to follow it. And the second thing is that I have a lot of folders. Elytra flying is a smooth motion, so when he leans sideways, he's gonna turn and move and there's a whole lot of overlapping action going on. So to make this easier for myself. I could have probably gotten away with uh, half of these folders, but I want to make sure it's right. So I got a folder for position X, Y, and Z, and rotation X, Y, and Z, and finally the main folder, which serves as my rotation point, position Y and all. Wait, this one should be down there, right? I think I need another folder. This should go back to zero, this main would go back to the floor. Minus 12 units down, and put the rotation 12 units up. It's now in the center, and now all of them should be in the center. Yo! What the hell? If I put this back down to zero and put this guy 12 units up, is that gonna fix it? That fixed it, okay. <laughs> I just wanna have my rotation points in the center. See, that's the kind of stuff I gotta deal with. All right, so I wanna start this by simply, I think I'm gonna make him run, just like animate a run cycle. This is gonna be my main, so I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna animate this guy run, jump off, and I don't know, go through a bunch of these hoops. Oh boy, starting is always the hardest. Let's see, first of all, spread his legs out a bit more. Actually, first of all, I gotta position this guy to be on the floor. There's no point in showing you me animate the run cycle, oops, every single time. There's no point for me to show you the run cycle because I got a tutorial on it and you've seen it countless times, so I'm just gonna speedrun this. Alright, so at this point, the body's X is turned to zero, so when I click position X, they're aligned. So if this guy was turned sideways like this, position X would go downwards and not just in the straight X. So, so the body and the legs are now turned sideways, so this main folder can have no rotation. Perfect, everything's fine now. So far we got this. It's not the best, I just wanna get this out of the way because the point is elytra. Animation takes time, I can't do everything. The red one is Z, so position Z is where he would be moving right now. I wanna, I wanna get the timing right, so I'm gonna play the timeline, imagine him run, and see how long it's gonna take for him to do that so okay somewhere around 80 or 90 it was somewhere here position Z bring that here however I think I'm gonna have an ease out sign because I want him to stop at the end and turn around so maybe ease out sign wasn't the best put this out a little bit more this is where he already makes the turn let's see how that looks like yeah, that's definitely a bit too fast. Next thing is position Y. Bring it up a little bit, ease out. Ooh, ooh, that's not gonna work. By this point, he's gotta be low down enough to go through the ring, okay? So that's what you gotta be careful about. As I'm gonna animate the rotation, I'm just gonna rotate him downwards. So his wings are actually gonna turn him downwards because that's a pretty intense transition and it's not natural. So now at this point, he would be down here somewhere. Forward. That's position Z. Let's just watch it like this. And he would go back up here with an ease in and out. Gee, maybe ease out sign wasn't the best. Maybe ease out quadratic would be better. But I don't know if he's gonna fit through the... Yeah. I'll try to fix it with uh, position X because he seems to be very slow at this point. So he's very slow. This is one of the reasons why I personally would add customizable transitions in here. I mean, it is possible. I can do this completely in my animator. Multiple transitions and, you know, fit them together. But it would be a whole lot easier if you could just customize the curve. Okay, so first of all, it's gonna go left, far left, I mean right, and to about 154, all the way down there. He goes through this and makes a turn, oop, too fast. What I can do to help myself, which I will, is use the main, that is... I keep looking at this, this is not the camera, this is the camera, I'm dogging you guys. If you take a look at the position axes while well, you're down there, so position X for an example, it's got an off rotation point, but rotation ones don't because they're parented after the position and the rotation point remains the same. That is why I put rotation below position so I can do that later on. Put this back a little bit, you know, so it slows down, move forwards. By the time it gets through this thing, I can just adjust it back, see? Everything is still overlapped, everything works fine. My animator. 
it's too intense. The turn here is too intense. Let's put this back so the transition starts sooner. Put it out like that. Maybe it's gonna help. Uh, it's going through. He's not the best of the flyers, okay? He doesn't have to go through the very middle of it. Put this back a little bit because I want him to turn sooner. Now, of course, I gotta adjust all of this, so... Uh, like this. Almost through the blocks, but not. Does it go through this one as well, or am I gonna have to adjust? Nope! Fine, perfect. Through this, slowly going down. He is flying, okay? This is fine. Now all we gotta do is mess with the rotations. Rotation X, this is the yellow one, okay. <laughs> Till this point, I want him to be going straight down. Also, it's gonna help. You know what's gonna help? Take one of the arms, minus 180, so I know exactly where it's pointing. And the body as well, there we go, and the head animate the rotation properly. So as you see, the rotation was not nearly enough. That's why. Do I add an ease out here? Looks pretty nice to me, actually. When he's going in that direction, I kind of, oof, I kind of want him to go a little bit upwards. Till this point, he's gonna have to go face a little bit downwards. You gotta imagine he's already turned, which I'm gonna do later, but for now I'm doing this. By the time he gets there, I think it's fine, actually, because I want to add something. Let, let's, the rotation, why? Ooh, but now they're being affected by each other. Ah, that's gonna be the problem now. Let's do this for starters, and then let's fix it by going into the other direction. Like this. I still have to rotate him around, don't worry, I'm still thinking about that. And by the end here, he would adjust. Now last thing is rotation Z. I hope it's the right one, otherwise I'm just gonna improvise and use all three of them. I just wanna fix it. Maybe tilt him down already here. Let's see how this looks. Maybe even a little upwards, because I can adjust all three of these here. If he starts to tilt and the motion is already done and he's not really turning, he should not be tilting. Try to get the aerodynamics correct. I mean, you, you, you got a feeling, I guess. It's like a frisbee. Just like that. And then, uh, you know, raise it up a little bit. Let's take a look at the entire course. Looks okay. The wings. I want to animate the wings. As he takes off, both of the wings would spread out. So the wings open up. Do messages again. Why am I so popular all of a sudden? And maybe even, like, as he's flying, maybe even adjust individual wings. Like, this could go up, this could go down, trying to catch his balance. And then as he goes in this direction, it's right the other way around. Physics working on him. If you want... Oh, missed opportunity. I could have I could have made him, you know, like, wobble a little bit and catch himself as he just jumps off the cliff. That would be pretty sick. As they come to this point, the wings are going in this direction because he's gonna make a turn like that. Bring them in a little bit because he's slowing down now. This part kind of seems awkward because he stays here for a very long time and just makes this sudden turn. If when you're gonna make your animation, you're gonna polish that more. Man, makes me want to put some adventurous music on because this feels like, mm, you know, stuff is happening. We're doing something interesting, you know. Maybe raise up because he's going straight down. And the last thing to animate is his body, which at this point, I'm not even sure how I do myself. So let's, uh, let's see. If he moves his body, the whole elytra turns, which means he's gonna... It's not gonna be pretty if he would do that in real life. So let's uh, try to keep his body relatively straight, but... For an example, if you want to fix something like this, I want his body to be turned upwards a little more. You try to fix the motion with the rotation of the body, with the rotation and the bend of the body, because by that you are... Jesus, my eye... My eyebrows are falling into my eyes. How is that even possible? So, Jesus Christ. I, I could see them right here. And at this point, let's let's add some overlapping action to this as well. Because he's still trying to get through that hole. Just like in Minecraft, when you when you turn left, it takes a while for that left to actually kick in. So let's just see what the body did here. Because this part, I don't like this part. Eh, it's still not the best. But the, the part at the end works. Again, should have taken more time for this part. My bad completely. Okay, I've reset my camera like four times now. I think this is gonna be the final clip, hopefully. Okay, yeah, the head should be fine. When he takes off, he probably wants to be looking at where he's flying, otherwise he's gonna die. And as far as I know, he doesn't have echolocation or any superhuman abilities, so he has to see what he's doing. That instantly feels way better, actually, because like the head is almost like a guideline at this point. Maybe I could make him look at that thing. I don't think there's any quick head motion in this case, because 
because he's still trying to fly, which is a delicate activity, I'm guessing. What happens here, though? He's a bit curious and he wants to see what's behind the edge, so he's tilting his head already. And then at this point, uh, I think the head can stay the same. And then till this point, he's just gonna keep his eyes on the prize. I don't know what to do with the head and the legs, though. That's the most tricky part. He jumped down, catch his balance or something. Move his arms out, and as he gets down here, put his arm down, because he still wants to be catching the balance thing, and turn it like this. Put his arm out like this. When he makes the turn, he kind of almost stops and goes the other way. So if he puts his arms out, maybe he can steer with his body is what I mean. Maybe I can make that work still. Maybe I can fix it with body position. I'm not sure. I know I messed up here, but maybe I can fix it. It kind of does look like it's impacting the way he's flying. So he extends his arm out because he wants to make the turn. I'm, 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 I'm making him steer, okay? Don't judge me. I'm trying to explain. It's hard to explain. You try doing it. It's easier to watch the video. I made him steer with his arms. So as he jumps, it does look like he's still catching himself. I gotta pat myself on the back. That was pretty nice. Eh, I don't think it's gonna be the last time I reset my camera because I'm already at six minutes. I gotta do it every 10 minutes. Yeah, it looks smooth, even though there's a bump there that nobody's gonna notice. My animations have so many flaws, I just get creative by hiding them. My animations have a ton of flaws, you just don't see them. Final thing, we're gonna end up with the legs, end off with the legs. For these, I really have no idea what to do. So I guess just uncontrollably waving and trying to get control. This one to be going there. Oh yeah, you can also steer with the legs. Look, if I do this, it kind of feels like he's steering in that direction. Yeah. Bro, this actually looks better than I thought! Congratulations! So you can't be holding your legs out like that all the time, so... Because your muscle starts hurting. Consider everything, man. Just like it's uh, an actual real-life thing. Last leg, and then I consider this animation finished, and I'm done with this. But I gotta reset my camera again, Jesus Christ. Sing the audio. I got separate audios from my camera and from my PC. This should be the last time. Because he kind of spirals out of control a little bit, I kind of want to make him bend this leg upwards as like, oh no, I'm tripping over and just try to catch himself. He's just gonna kick back and fix it. Frick yes. It feels so good when you do something like this. And as he goes back up, the leg can also go back up. He just put it down because he wasn't fast enough to be rotated forward. So he just kind of almost put himself back on his feet. But now when he gets the speed back, he can do more crazy stunts. I'll see what it looks like afterwards. I messed up. We all know that. Try to uh, clean up as much as possible. I'm not perfect. Nobody is. And I think that is it. First of all, let's try to go through the whole thing. Just like the whole entire flight. Uh, I messed up. Feels okay. I want to see it from this angle because I want to see what he does here. What it looks like. Yeah, I guess. It, it kind of feels off, but it's not that bad. It's, it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. When he does this, maybe the body, where's the body? Could be tilted down, and maybe then this direction, and maybe then back here. Just so it adds a little wobble, maybe that's gonna fix it. Or I've just ruined everything. It looks like he's out of control a little bit. I'm just gonna leave it like this. Okay, all I gotta do now is add a camera, export it, and put it as a preview in the beginning of the video, and that's pretty much it. Also, I gotta edit the whole thing. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned stuff, mostly. Animation is not a thing you memorize how to do. Animation involves a lot of thought process. It's, it's replicating physics, almost. But yeah, I mean, the Pirate Collab is coming up in about 10... The Pirate Collab is coming up in about 30 days. Wait, no, what? The Pirate Collab is coming up in 15 days as of recording this. Maybe one of you guys is gonna include something like this, and I doubt because there's not much time, but hey, you know, I tried. Again, thanks for watching. If you like the video, show your support by dropping the like and hit the bell for more content because I do not have an upload schedule. It helps to get notified. Also, if you want to get your No Homo t-shirt, link is in the description. They are comfy as hell, and it says No Homo. Who doesn't want one? Now that's it. See you next time. Stay sharp.